Bloomberg Educated Investor is brought to you by DBFX from Deutsche Bank. What type of FX trader are you? It's going to depend on how much money you have to risk and the time you have to devote to the trade. Brian Dolan is Chief Currency Strategist of Forex.com and offers some advice on choosing a trading style. You might only have a few hours a day to do your research. You might be able to trade all day. You need to settle on a style that, that fits your circumstances and then you need to stick with that style. There's the two extremes when it comes to personality profiles in trading currencies. There's the ultra active trader just sitting in front of the computer constantly and wants to do nothing but trade and is feels lives and breathes and feels everything related to currencies these short-term players often referred to as rhythm traders or scalpers are in and out of trades within seconds they react to price changes or just a few pips or points the smallest unit of price fluctuation in forex there are also medium-term FX traders. They include day traders and so-called swing traders who enter and exit positions anywhere from every few hours to a few days. Are you looking for very short-term market movements to take advantage of or are you looking for, say, a multi-week, a multi-month uh, fundamental trend to play out? Then there are long-term traders that hold positions for weeks, months and potentially years. The other extreme is um, actually what we call the Japanese housewife. So they would just sit with the positions and just leave it there. And they traded mostly you know, the Japanese yen, and they would invest in carry trades. In a carry trade, investors buy a currency whose country has a higher interest rate and sell a currency whose country has a lower interest rate. The goal is to profit from the spread between the two rates. Thanks for watching Bloomberg, The Educated Investor. I'm Carol Biaggi. Bloomberg Educated Investor is brought to you by DBFX from Deutsche Bank.